Hey, good morning, y'all. Got really good news. Jesus is Lord. Hey, the devil's defeated. Thank God the word works. You can trust your Bible. Had a course when I was in Bible college 50 years ago, you know. You can trust your Bible. The Bible's true. In the beginning was the word. You can trust what the word said. Now, we're talking about seed time and harvest. So I just want to read this verse to you today and kind of zero in on just this verse. Galatians chapter 6. Verse 7 <clears throat> says, Be not deceived. Watch this now. Don't let anybody deceive you. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. When it comes to the things of God, God's not going to change just because you do not like it or maybe you do like it. So don't let somebody else deceive you. There's a lot of teaching going on now. Well, you know God's got everything in control. Cast said all, said all. What will be will be, and it doesn't matter what you do. You will have a reaction to every action that you put out there. That's just a law of God. You do something wrong, you're going to reap wrong. You sow the wrong kind of seed, you're going to reap the wrong kind of crop. Now watch. It says, <clears throat> be not deceived. So don't let some popular television preacher tell you that this stuff don't work because there's a, an attitude right now to come against the church and believing and receiving based on God's word. So be not deceived. God is not mocked when it comes to this subject. God's not going to be mocked. Watch this. For <clears throat> whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Now he goes on to explain that in verse 8. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit <clears throat> excuse me, reap everlasting life. So watch this trying to help you. <clears throat> I've known people, ministers in particular, sowing a lot of really bad seed. They were a little crooked in everything that they did, but yet their ministries just seemed to flourish. And I went to the Lord. I said, hey, uh, you know, uh, uh, hey, you said that I'd prosper and they wouldn't because they're sowing bad seed and I'm sowing good seed. What's going on here? God said, be not deceived. I'm not mocked. As a man soweth, whatsoever he soweth, that shall he reap. Ten years later, 15 years later, man, that ministry blowed up. There was all kinds of impurity in that thing. There was a, a sexual impurity, a money misuse, and, and it come apart at the same. They lost everything, lost their building, lost their ministry, uh, lost their family. I mean, it just come apart like a $2 watch. I mean, I was like, wow, because you see, God's word is true. I want you to get that. God's word is true, and you sow some bad seeds, you're going to reap a bad crop, and there's nothing you can do about it. Somebody says, well, I'm going to pray for crop failure. I got a better idea. Don't plant the wrong kind of seed. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but you know whatever you need. You need some understanding and love and gentleness from your wife. Well, give her some understanding, some love and gentleness. Dear God, I mean, you know, if you're going to reap wherein you sow, sow the right kind of seed. You're broke and you need some money. Well, sow some money. I've told you this and somebody says, well, you're bragging on yourself. I don't mean it to be bragging on myself. I mean it to be bragging on Jesus, but I've given away over 70 cars. I've given away three airplanes. So somebody says, well, you're so blessed. Hey, I got good seed. Somebody says, I don't like that big old fancy watch that you wear that costs thousands of dollars. Hey, I've given away Rolexes, six of them to be exact, and, and a lot of other good watches, you know, and Pat has too. So we have a right to receive. And somebody says, I'd give that watch away, you know, and I'd give the money, uh, you know, to the ministry. Well, if I did, I'd get a whole lot more because I get the hundredfold return. Give, Luke 6, 38, and it that which you give shall be given unto you. So the, these things are principles and laws of God that never change for whatsoever. That means whatever you need. Somebody says, oh, I don't like that. You mean you can go out there and plant a seed and expect a crop? Oh, yeah. A farmer goes and plants watermelons, he expects watermelons. A farmer goes out and plants soybeans, he expects soybeans. I can go out and plant money and expect money. I can plant cars and expect cars. Buy somebody's set of tires and expect new tires. I mean, this stuff works. It's a law. It, it, it's a law of God. But saints, whether you believe it or not, doesn't have anything to do with it. You've been reaping a bunch of bad junk all your life. <clears throat> well, go check up on what you've been sowing. So you, wanna, you don't want to reap that kind of junk anymore. You want to have a better life than what you've been having. Well, change what you're sowing. If you change the seed, then the crop that you're going to have is different. Now, I'm believing God, dear Lord. I'm believing God for equipment. I'm believing God for new stuff. But I got seed in the ground, so I can believe God, so I don't have to pressure you. 
I don't have to take up the weekly offering. I don't have to write you an appeal letter because my pressure is not on you. Let me say this, ladies. You shouldn't put pressure on your husband. You ought to put pressure on the word. See, my pressure is on the word and I'm believing God. Therefore, I don't have to tell you what I need and hope that y'all will be bugged by it and give to me. No, no, no. God's going to do this. I believe what he said. See, be not deceived. God told me that. Be not deceived. I'm not mocked. God said, I'm not mocked whatsoever. I've sown some good seed. Dear Lord, I mean, I got some seed out there that's so good. You know, <clears throat> all the trips we made to Cuba, all the trips we made to Central America, uh, oh, over $100,000 just in, 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 in fuel alone just to get to those places. The things that I've done, the blessings that I've done, well, that I'm going to reap. Dear Lord, I've got a right to reap. So don't get upset when you see me walking in or the, the enjoying the harvest of what I've sown. Got to go. I'll come back to this tomorrow, saints. Have a great day. Remember all day, seed time and harvest. It's forever. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.